What's up, Gunkle people? It's French Red Built, and I'm back again with another video. Uh, this video actually is special because I don't generally do unboxings, but I've really been excited about this kit, and I was not expecting it to come in today, but it's here. Uh, it got here very quickly, and um, I want to actually thank the sponsor of today's video right now. Um, get that out of the way. Uh, GundamModelCenter.com. Uh, that's where I get all of my third-party stuff, and um, that might give you a clue to what this is, uh, but yes, it is a third-party kit. Um, the good folks at Gundam Central got it to me very, very quickly. I believe it released um, um, almost maybe a little over a week ago, but uh, I have it now, and I am very excited. So uh, without further ado, I'll let you guys know what it is, um, maybe talk a little bit about it, and then we'll get into the unboxing. So, here it is. We got the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, we have the Rodam's RAS-30. Um, so, yeah, and as you know, that is uh, also the uh, GPO-3 stamen, I believe. So, this is a third-party kit, 1172 scale, so it is technically smaller than a perfect grade, larger than a master grade, um, but way more details and part, you know, part count and all that other stuff than either. Um, you know, with a third party kit, you can't, you can take the scale with a grain of salt, but um, yeah, it is one, 172 scale, or, or 172 scale, sorry. Um, and I expect it to be, when completed, anywhere between nine and 11-ish inches tall. Um, and I specifically got this kit. One, I, I like, you know, I like the design. I like, uh, you know, the detail of something like this, but also because there are dendrobium parts that are supposed to be coming out for this at some point, probably, you know, within, within the next year, uh, and a 172 scale dendrobium will probably be very massive. I'm very excited for it, but yeah. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Rodams is a new company, apparently, um, and they are not Mechanicore as, as far as I know, but this is, it reads like a Mechanicore style kit, um, which I'm okay with. It could be difficult, it could not be, I don't know. Well, we, you know, we're gonna see when we actually get into the actual build, but I'm just here right now. I wanna do an unboxing. Uh, I have not seen anything on YouTube about this kit you know, aside from maybe some preview promotional stuff, but I actually want to get into the kit. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the runners, um, uh, probably not all of them because there's a lot, but we'll take a look at the plastic quality. We'll look at some of the accessories it comes with and um, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we have the box here. Um, this is exactly how I pulled it out of the box. So um, as you can see, it's got this Rodam's RAS 30 172 branding on it. So let's just take that off. So here it is. We've got some CG box art. Nice, uh, hopefully indicative of maybe some of the posing that this kit can do. Um, it is 172 scale, so I'm not expecting a whole lot of mobility or arti articulation here, but um, here's to hoping. As you can see, we've got a full color picture here. You've got what looks like a front view, <laughs> from what it says, a, a front view of the kit. Looking pretty cool, looking pretty detailed. Um, limited version, comes with the alloy V-fin and the, looks like a uh, action-ish base. Um, from what I can see, uh, looks like there's a little USB port coming out the back and this should be USB powered, which will be really cool uh, to see this thing light up. But um, again, I don't really know much about the kit other than what it looks like. So let's uh, start taking a look at the rest of the aspects of the kit or the box, I should say. So on the side here, we've got some more details of the mobile suit itself. Wow, one of the things I really like about this is the fact that it looks so detailed. I'm very excited to build something like this. Something this big with this much definition is very, very, very good. Um, looks like this has some hatch opening gimmicks like 
most PGs do, and I believe the Mechanicore GPO2 actually has a lot of uh, hatch opening gimmicks built in, so that's actually pretty cool too. Um, you've got a little list of, I guess, some of the information here. Um, this looks like the Chinese language version of whatever this says. 1,231 pieces. Fantastic. 32 screws, 22 nuts. Um, we've got photo etch, water decals, assembly instructions, total parts, approximately 1,500 or 1,550. This is gonna this is gonna be a very substantial kit. Um, at some point, I plan on painting it, but I think just for the sake of getting it out and getting the review out there, I want to build it first, and I'll go from there. Again, uh, here's a looks like this is an inspection sticker, uh, September sixteenth, twenty twenty, which is um, what is today the twenty seventh, so eleven days ago. Interesting. On the other side, we have some views of the back. Uh, the beam rifle, shield, beam sabers. I don't know if they light up or not, but that'll be interesting to see as well. We've got some art of the inner frame. Wow. Um, I get really strong master grade vibes from this inner frame, uh, which is not a bad thing necessarily. Uh, but it does look like there's a lot of detail there. I wonder how much of this is actually part separated. Because that may simplify or complicate the build. Uh, either way, I'm all in. I'm all for it. So, um, it looks like a little description here of the LEDs. Uh, let's see. LED, I'm assuming on the head. On whatever these... Oh, these uh, these uh, uh, boosters. The kneecaps look like they have LEDs. I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe it's the back of the head or the top of the head. Uh, very nice. Um, and for anyone who's curious ages 15 and up and definitely not for the ages of zero to three it's a very specific range but um okay all right so uh now that we've done that let's get into actually opening up the kit so we'll lift up the lid and looks like we've got some more art so we got some more of the uh gpo3 it looks like it's got a dragon ball z scouter which is cool um I wonder if this this thing coming out of its head is is a part of the scouter gimmick or if it's something that comes in or comes out. Um, you know, uh, as most of you guys know, I don't know much about lore when it comes to uh, Gundam, so um, I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm mostly a fan of uh, mobile suit designs. But uh, yeah, so there's a sleeve. This comes out, and now we've got what's on the inside. So first, I guess we'll start with the booklet folder. Ah, okay. So, um, one of the things that this thing, uh, one of the things that this kit was advertised to have are these cards. Um, and it feels metallic-y, but um, as you can see, I, I have kit number 651 out of 3,000. So, there are 3,000 of this limited version. I'm not sure if it's just this blue color or if it's the orange color and the clear color 3000 total um it looks like i ripped that a little bit but that's okay photo sh the photo etch sheets uh, they look pretty detailed looks like a lot of booster stuff um maybe some vents um yeah so um i'm not really gonna go into two uh you know you've seen one sheet of photo etch sheets you've seen them all you have a massive sheet of colorful decals for the most part Wow, there's a lot of pink here. I am probably going to get some additional GPO3 decals because I would rather have it say GPO3 rather than RAS30. Um, that's just me. Um, it's weird that they went that route and still included, you know, obviously uh, IP, Anheim Electronics and Space Force and things like that. Oh, okay. And there is more decals on the back here. Uh, I'm assuming these are for the main body. Hmm. Interesting. But these are these are very good quality decals. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, looks like there's decals for the eyes. I will not be using decals. I'll probably be painting. But uh, yeah. All right. So one thing that is not packed up in a bag is the base. Uh, it's pretty big. Um, my hand for scale. But uh, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big base. And I'm assuming... 
wires will be fed through here. Uh, if the rest of the plastic is anything like the base here, we should be pretty good with this kit then because this is pretty good plastic. Pretty sturdy, no texture to it. Looks like it would be pretty easy to paint. Nice crisp details. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, but let's actually get into the runners. So let's start with this yellow runner on top. Looks pretty good, it feels pretty good as well. Um, nice details, lines are crisp. Not the, you know, the deepest lines that I've ever seen, but still pretty good. I want to start with the colored ones because for whatever reason, colored plastic, especially with these third party kits, are usually the, the plastic that's the worst. Um, again, pretty surprised at how, how clean and crisp all these details look. Um, looks like this is some kind of booster or maybe even parts to the shield. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, this is really good. Um, and I know you guys can't see this in person, but the plastic feels good. Uh, feels kind of like Bandai quality plastic, but like, look at, look at that. Holy crap. Look at all that detail. Uh, so for you um, over-the-top detail painters, this is going to be great for you guys. Lots and lots of small details, tubes, and things to, to paint here. So one of the things I'm actually pleasantly surprised about is that every single runner is individually wrapped here. Every single one. Um, wow. Even the... Uh, Beam saber effect parts, individually wrapped. I guess this still counts as individual wrapping too, but every single runner, which is actually fantastic. I've never seen that before. Mechanicore does not even do this. Let's open up one more runner here, just to be thorough. Again, smooth plastic. Great details. I am pretty impressed. Um, you know, ultimately the test will be how they come together and, um, you know, if there are any fitting issues or anything like that. But as far as the plastic goes, I am I'm pretty impressed by the quality of this kit. Um, and, you know, you kind of hope that with a kit this expensive, you get good quality plastic. So not disappointed just yet. So let's, you know, with actually, you know what? This is actually a good one to look at because these are not electroplated from what I can see. I think they're painted chrome, um, you know, which is good or bad. I'll probably end up painting over this anyway, but um, yeah, these look pretty good. It's kind of like if you've ever built the Master Grade Hayaku Shiki 2.0, um, it's got that spray it's like spray painted this is what that feels like and it's not too thick details are still there and present so they're not being hidden pretty good happy with this um you know now that we've looked at the runners and we've looked at the details and i'm pretty impressed i haven't seen anything alarming so far um you've also got this looks like the Screws, the nuts, the wiring, the USB cable, which is pretty cool. Some of those components, and I'm assuming the, uh, this is the alloy V fin, and these are the. They kind of look like. I think they are um, parts that go to the base. Um, I'm gonna assume they're maybe they're metal as well. I'm not gonna unpack this yet because I'm not ready to do anything with it, but. It's got a nice little graphic on the back. Looks like this gets its own individual um, inspection sticker, which is good. So um, I don't think there's anything else in here other than parts and runners. This looks like a cool, oh, cool runner that we can take a look at. Um, I'm assuming these are all parts of the base. Good plastic, very impressed. So we've got a nice little graphic. And I don't know if this is actually true, but um, there's sculpted in detail on the clear scouter part, which is pretty cool. Looks like it's on the chest too. 
and I think it's displaying the hatch opening gimmicks. On the back, it looks like you got the test type version, which is just the orange one. Again, you know, specs for the model kit, which is cool. It's got a part list, and I should honestly do this before I start. Make sure I have everything that I need. Runners, wires. This is actually a pretty good breakdown. So you know exactly what you have and what exactly what everything looks like. I'm sure this is gonna really come in handy when you're doing the wiring. Decals, head, photo etch, upper body. Actually, is that a return policy? Okay. I wonder, I guess I if I had an issue, I would go to Gundam Model Center, uh, get it checked, and they would handle it for me. So I actually, I'm probably going to make sure I check this before because with these kind of limited production kits, you never really know how long they're going to be printed for. Okay. Some more detailing about how things go together. Obviously wiring under the base like I thought was going to happen. USB, which is awesome anything that runs via USB you don't have to worry about batteries and corrosion and all that other bad stuff very good very good complex too I don't think I, I think there are a lot of parts here but this manual is very 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 uh, detail oriented which is good right here we've got a nice little CG image of it looks like all three of the different versions of this kit that'll release you got the test type which is an orange you got the blue version which is what i have and the clear version and they kind of i think this just shows you that they're all the same um you know just different colors which is fine um, i'm gonna plan on painting this anyway so um i just went with the first color that i could get which was this one um and this will go you know kind of flip through the manual here you can kind of see how detailed things are it might look overwhelming um, but um, you know this is a one of those kits um, it actually tells you where to glue things which I'm assuming is uh, there's some photo etch parts here um, tells you to glue glue so um, you will be using glue on this kit um, and it lets you know that up front in the manual so get yourself some either some super glue or some plastic cement if that works fully articulate hand which could be a problem who knows um, with Mechanicor they kind of suck with Bandai they kind of suck so maybe with this new company they did something different but they look very similar to Mechanicor's hands looks like the leg um, one of the things I'm noticing is that although there are a lot of steps doesn't look like doesn't look like these legs are overly difficult here looks like what looks a little overwhelming is that there's just a lot of detail but looks like um, from more or less there are some pretty big parts which are good yeah shows you some of the wiring in here not bad not bad um, this is gonna be an interesting kit to build Assuming this is like the layout for the decals. Yeah, you know, this is, like I was saying, this is going to be a really interesting kit to build here. Um, I have, right now I have the Master Grade Unicorn Extreme that I am doing right now, actually. Um, and I hope to get that done in maybe two or three days. Immediately after that, I am going to start building this. And I am going to sit here and build it until it's done. So whether that takes me a week, whether that takes me two weeks, a month, whatever, that's what I'm going to do. I want to get this out there. I want people to know what it's like in plain English, <laughs> uh, you know, so we can see if if the 260 ish to three hundred dollars is is worth the cost of entry. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I, you know, I'm going to apologize in advance. I haven't edited this yet, but I'm going to apologize in advance. Um, I wanted to film this very quickly. Um, it's probably not my best work, but I wanted to get this out there. I wanted people to see what it is. Um, I think that this is one of those kits that you're going to want to make a decision on sooner rather than later. If you like what you see so far, um, to the point where you want to buy it yourself, head over to 
www.gundamodelcenter.com. Last time I checked, there were three of them left in stock. They are getting occasional shipments, but you know, with third party companies and something like this, you never really know how many they're going to get or, you know, how long they're going to last. So, um, I would hop on that. So I will leave a link in the description and please subscribe and like this video so that um, one, it supports me, and two, when I post more content on this, you guys will be the first to know. So uh, until next time, guys. Bye.